Okay, and we, we just as many drills we have for the footwork. I think we have. This is the other area I think we do a pretty good job in, and it's our block defeat um, segment. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of different ways in which we do this. I love this is my favorite sled by far, by far. Okay, we got some weights on it. We call it the horseshoe sled. But it, it, you know, there's no pad on it. You got to strike with your hands. You got to see what you're hitting. It, it promotes the football position. You can see here, it's a, you got to keep your eyes up a little bit. But like, that's it right there, man. Hairline below the chin. Wrists and elbows together. Thumbs up. Speed to lock my hand, my arms. I got separation. The other thing you'll notice about him is I don't, you see when he makes contact, it's really good. Yeah, his eyes should be up. But you see how he's almost extended already? That's the key. That's the biggest key of this. Is making contact with your arms. You just we just say a six inch punch. You don't want to be your arms all bent like the guys, you know, your arms bent and pushed up against your body, because then you have to bench press him. And he's 330 pounds. Like you, you can't bench press him. You need to shock him. And you do that by having a six inch punch and getting out your hands on him before he gets it on you. Again, so you're going to see the difference in the rip. It's a great rip. Rip, boom. See the foot? Same thing. Marist, his head and his gap starts on that side of the sled, but the ball doesn't run there. The ball runs over here. So after he checks his gap, he differences, peaks in his gap, he's going to do what we call an arm over and get over to this secondary gap. You see it right there. It's nice and tight with his left arm. Boom. Difference, peak, arm over. And it's nice and tight, and it, you pull it, and then you got to finish it and push it all the way through. It's like a, it's like a swimmer. Swim, you want to see a swimmer. They don't ever bring their arms way out of the water. They're nice and tight. Nice and tight over the water, about six inches over the water, and then they pull it through. They pull themselves through the water. That's what we're doing with the swim move. Boom, and then we finish with a little. Okay, so then we have that was difference in rip. That was difference peak arm over. Now this is difference in drop step. Now you can see the relation that the blocker is to the ball carrier. He's even with me or he's leaving. So, boom, it starts with difference. Ha! Ah! You can see the good arm placement here, too. We're not bench pressing this guy. We're shocking him. Boom. And you can see here the big difference between this and rip is that foot right there. See how deliberate he is with opening that foot so that it opens his hips to the ball carrier? That's what the drop step is. The rip is the same mechanics. here right in the middle okay he's man to man in the back quarterback draw what's it down is it second and ten get back on track he's anticipating it's four open okay boom ha address the blocker get off go make the play 27 we're watching boom bit good go make it great job we actually have a bunch of clips like that, but this one's it's just really good to see it. Boom, knock his head back and come off it. All right, guys, I appreciate it. That was great.